Hey Tankers, Bunza Duck here. Today we have a submission from Nonamandus from the HBG clan. He is in his M6A 2E1, the mutant. Um, you know, just, I don't know. I don't even have the mutant. I just, I, I, I can't bring myself to purchase it. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure I will at some point in time, but I, <laughs> I mean, it's, it is, what is it? It's a T1 heavy with some superior armor and a turret. That is, you know, fairly robust. Well, I mean, it is robust from the front. It's uh, soft on the side, as is the rest, as is the rest of the tank, and obviously from the rear end. But uh, it's got a nice whopping. What is that? A hundred and five? No, yep, hundred and five millimeter with a three twenty alpha and two four two oh four penetration. He fires the goal. He's up to two forty five, and with HE, it's a four twenty with a fifty three. He is on steeps in an encounter battle, steps in a tier 8, tier 7 game. So, top tier uh, heavy, and, and this is a premium tank. Uh, but we don't see a lot of these. I, I don't get a lot of replays of them. In fact, I think this might be my first replay in it. I'm not sure. I'd have to go back, but I've done so many I can't tell. Uh, <laughs> can't remember. Anyway, he spawned over in the south and is moving over here to the west side and going to work this little ridge. And in a hold down environment, this tank can be uh, can just be deadly. So, uh, Nona, take it away. There's a defender. Nona gives a little shot right there in the side. The VK101. That's an iffy shot, if anything. That's iffy at best. <laughs> and there comes VK101, and an armor not penetrated. And he bounces 440 from the VK. There is an Artie in the game, so you gotta we gotta watch out for that. Nice shot into the VK 101, gets 325 off of him. There's the M12. Stuns your crew, so. Letting that kind of get a little bit better. Bounces the defender for 440. Already coming in on the BK and the defender. Some assistance there. That is three. Oh, goodness gracious. There's that M12 again. He is obviously able to zero in on you. Where did that one get you? Where did that one? Oh, right there in the turret. Oh, man, right there in the gun mantlet. Nice. Alright. Alright, like I was saying, your eyes three and your chai chai re are over there to the to the west and they're able to work in on the Now from here you can get some pretty decent shots over here. And uh hopefully but that, at the same point they can get some decent shots on you, so now you're moving around a little bit, trying to keep already anticipating. Come up here, maybe use your... Oh, might have had to expose too much there. You've got an IS-3 and a Hellcat sitting on the base, but that's okay. you got an ISM and E-25 and a Panther and something else over there. Another TD. These guys are falling back. Tries to take a wild shot. That was a 28 prototype. And it takes out the. Uh, he missed the VK100. Somebody else was able to take him out. Now you got the 28 prototype over here. E25 2. And he's. He's smart. He'd be running. Oh, A43 is on fire! Oh, nice. Snap reload on the T25 slash 2. IS-3 is moving in. Another chunk taken out of the T25-2. Here comes the Pershing. He bounces. IS-3 is raged in. It's time to do some cleanup here. 
Should get rid of some tanks. There goes the A43, or the T43. Oh, and your IS-3 just, just wasted his, his hit points. So what was working out to be a promising push had the IS-3 maybe stayed over here and kept him busy this way and get him in a little bit of a crossfire, he would at least tied up that defender so that the defender couldn't come out and get shots on you, which may have allowed you to help the T-25 and the Pershing, to get the, the T-25-2 and the Pershing. But no, he comes up here and he just hard charges in and uh, gets in there and, and you didn't have the, the people with you to, to make that to, to even make that work. Bummer. Bummer. All right. So now you're stuck out here with your butt flapping in the wind. <laughs> uh, you got T-28 prototype behind you. Oh. Possible, you got at least two people shooting at you. Possibility of three to four. Yeah, the, the, the IS-3 left you out there. He left you out there. Nice shot in the Pershing. There goes the T-28 prototype. Thank you, Artie. Pershing's on the run. Oh, am I not penetrated? Not a man just doesn't panic. He's going to get in there. Pop him in the rear. Ah, nice tracking shot. That is what the defender. He should be coming out helping, but he's got to worry about that T-28 prototype. Oh, dirt shot, dirt shot. Pershing is like, tank must go faster. And T-28. All right, he does get into a spot where he can easily whittle down that defender. It's allowed you to move forward and focus on that Pershing. Thank you, T-28 prototype. All right, there goes the T-25-2. We got here a panther who's going, oh, ouch. And another tracking shot. Seriously, guys. That load gun's not going to be able to do anything to you. There's a nice shot into the back, into the side of him. As he's moving, he's on the run. He wants to get in there and maybe take on the Ferdinand. No, he's had a different idea. <laughs> he is. He's taking on the Ferdinand. Okay. Oh, critical hit on the Panther. You get in between the Ferdinand and the Panther, blocking the Panther from the Ferdinand, and I managed to take him out. Nice. Nice work. So there's an STRV and an IS-2. Fast forward here a little bit. Yes, yeah, two moves off the base. All right, so you're spotted. Problem is, you can probably get right up on top of that STRB one, and right before he fires you. There's a 50 meter, you know, we can proximity light, proximity light him, but. S2 is down. Here comes the E25, who's gonna light him up. There he is. Nice shot into the, into the front of him. Get a critical, you bounce his shot. And he's down. That's a victory. All right. Well, you got a first class out of it. Spotter. Spotter. Spotter and a heavy tank. Spot enemy vehicles, enabling your allies to cause at least 1,000 uh, 1, HP of damage in one battle. <laughs> heavy tank spotter. Bruiser. Shell proof. Fire for effect. High caliber and a steel wall. 206,787 in credits. 4,322 in experience. And two bonds. You did 3,100. 3,612 in damage. Got two kills for base XP of 1,372. That 
yeah did more yeah more base xp than anybody on both teams he fired 19 shots of those 16 hit and of those 16 11 penetrate so good grouping good grouping uh you did 325 from 300 meters away you blocked 2460 and you spotted for 1700 made some decent credits made some decent experience so all in all it was a really good game you know i don't like i said i don't have that tank i've battled it it is a beast to deal with at its own tier when you're in you know face to face with that thing um got to get to the sides of it got to get to the behind to the back end of it but if, i mean frontally that tank is it's just a beast and you played it quite well unfortunately that is3 left you hanging but you didn't take a lot of damage because that t28 prototype was able to move up and help support you to keep that defender out of the way so all in all a really good game and congratulations on the high caliber so that's non amandus from the hbg clan in his m6a2 e1 mutant on steps in an encounter battle if you like the video hit the like button keep those videos coming i greatly appreciate it. please remember to hit the subscribe button this is bonsai duck out